friends. It is Saturday morning and it is July 29th, I believe. And I'm headed to my classroom with my husband and you can see things in the background here in the car. We're going to take some of the bigger things that I purchased starting at the beginning of summer and he's going to help me get those in my classroom and take things down that I can't get to and put some things together. So I will show you progress that I make. See you in a little bit. Okay, this is what my classroom looks like now. After I've worked on it on Saturday, there's a whole bunch of trash that needs to be taken out of here. This is the same. This is the same. That's all the same. I got this put together. My husband put this new cubicles unit together for me. I got all my math things in there. This is Reagan Tunstall's Guided Math Bundle. And it's got all nine first grade units in it. And then the bottom has manipulatives and extra little things for games. I got my classroom library put together. Yay. I got my center drawers all set up, except they're not labeled with the colors because I had them redo them. I'm not sure what I'm doing with that bin right now. But I changed over some of the bins. So there's that. Here's my writing station. There's some more. These are math tubs. They do not have back to school things in them yet. There's the rest of my classroom library. And some more centers and station things. And then my extra seating for flexible seating. There's some word work bins. The sink area is a little bit of a mess right now because I'm not sure what to do with those. And this, these are bubbles from like a year ago summer school. I'm going to clean these things out today because they're a mess. And a lot of it is going to go into my new Michaels drawers. So I think one of them, probably this one, will hold the lit kit things, maybe. And this one will hold my uh, writing units. That'll be good. Any read alouds, any materials I need, any special papers. This isn't much different from before because I didn't do a lot back here. So there's my desk area. I got this all set up with the bins. Let me move the chair out of the way. Whoop, I don't knock everything off my desk first. There we go. Okay, I got these all set up. <laughs> Some of the labels have fallen onto the floor because they were stuck to drawers like this for like nine years. And then I took them off and tried to stick them to fabric. And of course that doesn't work. And I'm not even sure how, if I'm going to label these or how I'm going to label them. I may do like the little binder rings like I had over there with my math drawers. I may do the same thing over here. Just make little hang tags. That seemed to work pretty well over there. This actually has read alouds in it. Um, I like to have them in order of how I do them. So it has a lot of good stuff in it. Some of these still have centers materials that need to go into these. I just didn't have time to work on it on Saturday. I put some of my supplies up here, but they need to be gone through as well. I just seem to have so much stuff. My of course, my schedule is all wackadoo because I don't know what my schedule is yet. I got those put away. My foundations drawers. And the I guess one of the bigger things that I did was my husband was here. We moved this table. I had put it over there where that little table is. That's going to be my VIP table. So I'm going to fancy that up. I'll probably put like a little fancy thing around it to hang and put some special things over there that the VIP can use. One of the biggest things I was saying, uh, the changes is all of that stuff. Remember all of the stuff that was up there? All of these drawer things, all those drawer things, um, those things there and there, and these kind of things were all up here. And now I've got all my animals unpacked from these bins and I have my author study units all in a row. It starts on this end and goes all the way around. I just don't have the animals in the book set up yet. That usually is my daughter's job. I don't know if she's going to get to it, so I may try to do it before I leave today. This got turned around finally. And if you remember from my last video, I have purchased another one of these actually from like a Facebook online garage sale. And there was a lady that's a PTA mom in her building that was selling one of these nine drawer units that look like that.
for five dollars because it has a couple of dings like on the shelves but it won't even show because the fabric drawers will go in there so that will go here and I'm going to put my guided reading books in those and yes I know they're only nine drawers but look how much bigger they are than these little bins they're gonna hold so much more so like I can double up or triple up on some of these like the first three levels there should not be that many kids reading on those levels when they come in these are kindergarten levels so um, I might have like one or two students maybe three four in, on these levels and I don't have that many books I think all of those would probably fit in one of those fabric bins so I could go like a B C in one drawer maybe D in one drawer E under one drawer F in one drawer so that's one two three four then I have five left so the end of first grade reading is right here and these are like second grade books here so maybe I'd have like I don't know a special place for the enrichment books I don't know I'll figure it out because some of the books it just depends on how big they are I have a lot of books that are kind of small like for example I have a lot of these type books from creative teaching press and they're very small and so I could even probably stack them to you know in a row and that would be good so yeah I think that would be acceptable yeah so I can't get it back in there ah. all right anyway uh this is something new it's my light box so I'll, I'll talk about that more later though when I do my big classroom reveal so I I'm not gonna do anything that's gonna be real noteworthy today since I'm gonna just basically purge a lot of stuff out of those and transfer some of the materials into those and maybe work on my bulletin board and little things like that because the major stuff is pretty much done I need to pull some of the things out of there that I put in there over the summer I really need to clean up my closet but we'll just see how far I get today because I'm not feeling it too much I didn't sleep very well last night and so I'm very tired I'm kind of achy so we'll see how much I get done and if anything major happens I will show it Otherwise, you'll just have to stay tuned for my reveal video because after this point, I kind of want to keep anything else a surprise. So it's a nice thing to look at. So here's my last little deal here and I will catch you later. All right, here is the last bit of progress before I do my full reveal. I did not get those drawers cleaned out. I did a lot of other things instead. So that'll be what I do next time I go in in a few days. I did move the iPads down there because there's a plug on that wall. The writing station is all the same. This area is the same. I did move some things. I've moved some things from back here since this was filmed. There are my curtains again. I have a lamp on my desk now. And I've moved a few things. There's a VIP table sign. I put my little pineapple pillows out. I put the legs on my trampoline. I'll tell you how I use that in a later video. All of those gray bins are all cleaned out except for that one that has some pineapple stuff in it, which you will see when you see the final reveal. So here's a last pan through, and I will catch you in the next video.